Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here. I'm back down to Paradise Point. I brought in a load of logs yesterday afternoon that I had worked out in the log yard at home. Since I am having to haul these, I'm working as many of the log pieces as one log. This is actually for a wall and I'll cut it in two. It'll go to the left and the right side of the door. And in round five, which I'm about to start setting, I'm up into the windows on B and C wall. And so what I've done is work all of these as one log. I've had to use two different center lines on some of them, but it just makes it so much easier to haul uh, to get down here. But I'm gonna cut this one too and get A, L and A, R up on the wall. I had forgotten to put the flat spots on seawall for the opening where the window is. For some reason, I, I missed that. And I like to do my flat spots before I do any hewing because I do my chainsaw work from, from the inside face of the log and it throws oil down on the face. And that's why I've got some duct tape. That's all I had to put on the, the hewn surface to protect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a flat spot here and a flat spot here so that I can have blocking underneath the ends of the logs. square up there and I've mentioned this before uh, I like to have that flat spot square with the inside face of the log and I can also check to see if this flat spot is parallel with my uh, center line to make sure I've got the same all the way across that's I think that's kind of critical to do that because that way you know when you put your blocking in here that it's not going to cause the log to rock one way or the other, even though it's got a, a notch that, that can hold it. It's good to have this pretty much on the money.
working on 5B, which is in two pieces, the 5BL and 5BR. And this will be my window cutout down into this log here. And I'm going to briefly go over what I have showed in the past. We have gained many subscribers, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I welcome you to the channel and hope you enjoy what we're doing. But I'll go over this with you for those who haven't had a chance to watch the previous videos where I have shown this. I have the, the two pieces up and I have put a string on the center line right here and right here. And just so happened to be, I was really close just with the blocking that I put in to uh, set this log so I could get the strap off of it. It was really, really close to the, to the line. But I, I can raise or lower the ends of the logs with blocking to get my string on the center line. Now this particular log, I worked with two separate center lines and I have a video showing that. One of the first things I do after I get the string up there and get the, the two ends level, I'll take my level and put it right up here at the shoulder and check to see if this log itself is plumb, if it needs to lean in or lean out. I can do that with the adjustments on the notch and, and get a good fit. So I've already done that. And so this log here is right on the money for being plumb. So what I'll do after I get the, the next log that goes over this, which will be a 6AR and put some weight on this, then I'll bring AR5 into control on my string on the floor. I have this string set on the floor and it can wiggle. I've just got it caught with some nails here at the corner and I came in three inches from the first round of logs and, and set my string and then I checked it to make sure that it was square. I could bring all these logs back in to control off of this string with either a level. I'm getting up higher now to where I'll probably have to use a, pr a plumb bob to bring the logs into control. By bringing each log back to my control, a string that's on the floor, that ensures me on every round, I'm still square and I'm lined up with the seal logs and the first round of logs on B and D wall. And if I do that on every log going up to the top plates, when I get to the top plates, everything will line up all the way down the surface of these logs on the inside. And I'll keep the building square all the way to the top. It just makes it so much easier, especially when you start setting the rafters and, and doing the roof, if everything is still good and square.
had to put a couple wedges to hold this end up off the notch so that I could get my straps out. I may be a little bit tight right in here. May have to run a chainsaw pass through there. See if I can get my wedges out. I'm just going to wiggle this one back and forth. I think I made it. I still will make a saw pass because it's a little close. It's not touching, but I, I will make a pass through there to give that a little bit more clearance. This is the last log to round six. Once I get this log set and do a little checking and maybe having to do some fitting, round seven will be the last round that will have partial logs that come up to a window. And round eight will be the logs that go over the windows and the door. So I'm looking forward to that round. It just seems to bring everything together when you have a full length log over the openings. Okay, let me get this thing on the wall. I like to tie these off somewhat so that they're not swinging around on me. It makes it a little bit easier when you're working by yourself. 